Hello and welcome back to Source Mogul. In today's video, we're going to be going over the wholesale feature that we've recently implemented into our software. So to begin with, we're going to need to locate the wholesale upload tab that can be found in the left column right here. Once you've clicked that, it's going to bring you to a page that looks like this with a simple, easy to follow step on how to get started. It also has some requirements on the file that you're going to be uploading. So let me show you how this is done. You're going to want to click here that will open your file explorer. Once this is opened, you're going to need to locate the file that the wholesaler has provided you with. Mine can be found here in downloads. So let's open that. Once you've opened your file, you're going to see a table that looks like this. What this is, is basically a preview of the data that's already in the file. Now, with the file, you're going to need a minimum requirement of the product name and the product price. My name, I've decided to go under the header of description, followed by the name to the product. And the price, I've marked under price level 3, with all the prices then next to the product. So. You're going to need to fill out these drop downs then, as you can see here. If you hover over the question mark, it gives you a brief description of what they are. So the UPC is basically the barcode of the product. The image, so the URL of the image. The ASIN, which is Amazon's identification number. The price, the price of the product. And the name being the name of the product. So once you click on the drop down, it's going to give you a list of all the headers that you have on your document. What you're going to want to do is select the right header that corresponds with the information it's looking for. So for me, the name is going to be under description being the name of the product. So I'll click that. And the price then being price level 3. You can go through and add the ASIN, the UPC and the image if your file does contain that data. For me, mine contains a UPC, so I'll add that. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to run the search. So I'm just going to let this run in the background and we shall be right back when that's complete. So picking up from where we left off, you can see that the search has now completed. And it's just a matter of analyzing the results. If you're not too sure how to analyze the results properly, a previous video has been created on this that can be found in the training hub. So that's going to be all for today. I wish you all the best in your Amazon arbitrage journey. And I hope this video has been helpful to you. Thanks for watching.